Okay, today we're doing a little clipper over cone technique. Um, again, that's the clipper riding over the cone, just catching the edges. If you want to be safe, you can pull it back here. Uh, I like to refer to that as like an open five position. Biggest thing is the cone serves as your guide. Okay. The, thickness, the thickness of the comb basically is almost like uh, having a guard on there. You got combs and then you have comb attachments, right? Which is also referred to as a uh, guard or, um, or if you're using your blades, right? Okay, we're headed to do a design, but first off, we're just going to go flip her over comb. Okay, you notice how the hair is combed down, comb up, bend it back, and clipper rides over top of it. Clipper over comb technique. Okay, if we switch cones, now you can see the cones are a little smaller. Same level here, but the cones smaller. So it's going to cut the hair a little closer. See how that works? Okay, this is more of a taper comb, which means the teeth are longer. The cones are a little thicker here. Once you get down here, the teeth are a little thinner. So it's going to cut a lot closer. So we're going to switch from this side to this side. It's like putting on a smaller guard. See how close that cuts? If we were interested in fading that, you can say the top comb is, is almost like using a larger guard here. Okay, and as we move down, we move to a smaller comb right in the middle area. And the bottom area can be the smallest under the comb. Okay, that's basically it. Clip rubber comb technique. Till next time. Quick snippet.